Second half hour of the Factor Uncensored. It's a new year, and for some people, it's a chance to create a new look for themselves. We just talked about the obsession with the ladies a few minutes ago here on the Factor Uncensored. Now we're discussing and going to discuss how dangerous the procedure can be. Two women, both mothers, got the procedure, and we heard about them over the weekend. Just devastating to many of the people who read it. And they ended up dying. Secreta Tolly traveled from Chicago to the Dominican Republic for her BBL. She died from internal bleeding while recovering from the procedure last month. 26-year-old Janisha Jayla Williams got surgery for both a BBL and a butt lift in 2021. Sadly, she never woke up once the surgery was completed. Turns out an unlicensed doctor gave her anesthesia board certified plastic surgeon and the man who has been ringing the alarm here in Houston for months. Dr. Malik Cuddy joins me now here on the Factor Uncensored to hear and, and we all saw those pictures on social media and as I got them I sent them to my producer to hear that such young people lives have ended as a result of them seeking beauty dying to be beautiful in their minds. Your thoughts about seeing so many young people in their lives as a result of getting plastic surgery? Well, I think you have to really think about how those patients end up where they end up to have those operations, and that's really where the problem lies. Uh, if you separate out the people who had serious problems or a death from everyone else, I think what you'd find is the vast majority of them are being done by surgeons who should not be doing it. They're done in facilities where surgery shouldn't happen. Uh, the anesthesia services are really substandard. The, the, the vast majority of problems are happening in those situations. Um, but and unfortunately, doctor, what we have is individuals who find the cheap route. These are people who are not board certified, not in this country, in one case, the Dominican Republic. In another case, this person did not have a license. And so they're likely charging cheaper rates. Oh, they definitely are charging less. And, you know, you have people who are, that say, you find uh, a surgeon uh, to perform the procedure in the first place, and you find him on TikTok, and on TikTok or Instagram, you have all these different doctors advertising services, basically, you know, just as if it were any other commodity. And um, people will gravitate toward the ones that are cheaper. And they don't understand that it's not a commodity. There's a big difference between this operation or any plastic surgery operation being done by somebody who's qualified and somebody who should absolutely not be doing it. The ones who shouldn't be doing it are doing it very cheaply. And the patients don't understand that. And I think people think, okay, so this is just my ass. My ass is not going to kill me. But it could. If it's, it's, it's not properly done by someone who knows what they're doing. Yeah, and uh, what I can do is give you. Shalom. First and foremost, give all praise, John, and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Who the word in the cause? God, in his name in Hebrew means he exists. <coughs> Yahweh Shai's name is only God's son. Who the word in the cause? Jesus Christ. And his name in Hebrew means he delivers by Shemus in the name. Rekak with us, the Holy Spirit. I want to give the honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone of the well. Peace and blessings unto the Shashak and this push forward in the truth. Throughout the four corners of the earth, I want to shalom unto your brothers and keep pushing. And a double shalom unto the Israelites to look like the other nations. And to share with you. I want to say shalom unto your brothers and sisters as well. My name is Dwight from GMS Line, St. Louis Camp. And I'll come back at it with another video. And um, in this video, I'm entitled it, Self-Love is Important, Israelite Woman. i say it again. Self-Love is Important, Israelite Woman. And Israelite Man, too. Um, but right now in this video, I'm focusing on a woman because as Israelites, in this captivity... We all grew up with low self-esteem, okay? Because like everybody always telling us we not good enough and we not this, we not that, we not this. 
Okay, and but the main person that's affected by um, self hatred is our women. So starting off with the so called black woman. Okay, from uh, yeah, two women in the uh, video that you just seen. Okay. I can find it real fast. Whatever one of them. And, uh, okay. So, yep, so the two women. And they just go to show you how low, how women have a low self esteem. They always trying to do something extra to their body. And it just shows what? Pride. And it shows vanity, okay? Now, it's nothing wrong with how these women look. But in their minds, they feel like, oh, I got to do this, I got to do that, I got to do this to my body to make myself look more attractive. In which, you know, it's nothing wrong with how these women look. Uh, you know, they got the type of body that I like, you know, like the slim, thick body. But... See, this goes all into um, self hatred, okay? You know, I'm not trying to, like, you know, I'm not lusting over these women or nothing, but I'm just, I'm just saying. Um, but you know, you can tell how these women carry themselves that they're real vain, okay? They want to be seen and they want to be hollered at, cause, um, yeah, these women, like, even though they claim that they uh, hate men or whatever, or they get mad at the so-called past pro, passport bros and all that. The whole reason why they do this is all for a man's approval and, and attention. So, you men out there, you need to wake up because you got the power. And you women out there, you, you need to humble down because um, the man is going to be your ticket to salvation out of here. Okay? Uh, the man is basically your God, okay? But um, I wanted to pull some precepts and always be edifying. So this is um, Ecclesiastes 30. I'm going to start at 21. And it reads, Give not over thy mind to heaviness, and afflict not thyself in thy own counsel. The gladness of the heart is the life of a man, and the joyfulness of a man prolongeth his days. Right. So you can't give your mind over the um, heaviness, okay? Trying to keep up with the Joneses. Because when you come into this truth, you're basically free from the traps and the snares of this world. You know, like I, I got to look a certain way. I got to be a certain height. Um, I, I, I got to make a certain amount of money. I got to drive this car. I got to drive that car. I got to have this many followers on Instagram. You know, I got to show everybody what I'm doing. Okay, nah, that's not the type of spirit that you got to be in. Okay, especially if you claim, if you're a man of the Lord or in the truth. Because all that stuff doesn't matter because this word is about to get ready and pass away. You know, but you can't tell our people that, especially our women, because the majority of them just don't want to hear it. Because they're comfortable in this society. Verse 23, love thy own soul and comfort thy heart. Remove sorrow from thee, for sorrow have killed many, and there is no profit therein. All right, so you got to love your own soul. So you got to love the man or woman that Yahweh Shemiah Shah made you to be. Okay? You shouldn't be comparing yourself uh, to other brothers in the camp or 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 other women. Okay? You, you got to worry about your own soul. And that's what this society breeds. You know, you worry about everybody else besides your own soul. Like the whole saying, uh, misery loves company. Because all these people that's doing these wicked things, they want to pull you into their realm. All right, because if you don't have this truth, that you're miserable. You are miserable. Okay, now even if you act like you're happy, because really it's all a show. It is all a show just to prove, really to prove to a man of the Lord that you're doing just fine without the Lord. Okay, it's kind of like a middle finger to the face of the Lord, because the woman that the woman that does this, because a lot of these people they don't ran across a prophet at one point in time. Okay. Because it's, it's, it's going to be no excuse for you to, um, it's going to be no excuse in these last days. Because uh, all Israelites to heard the truth in one form or fashion. Right? So it says, and there is no profit therein. 
Envy and wrath shorten the life, and carefulness bringeth age before the time. A cheerful and good heart will have care for his meat and diet. Yeah, so a cheerful and good heart. Okay. Now, now, now instead of going to the gym and uh, or squatting or whatever, all right, or or maybe you do need to gain a little weight, you know, if you want to figure it behind. But um, it's all about the diet, right? So a lot of our women, they don't take care of themselves. They don't take care of their diet because they eat all type of unclean food. What's the uh, holidays that just passed? Christmas. You had three holidays that passed. So you had Christmas, Thanksgiving, and New Year's. Now, our women, they didn't eat all type of unclean food on a holiday. They eat unclean food on a day-to-day -day basis, like let alone um, on the holidays, okay? But Karen, because at these holidays, a lot of a lot of people gain weight. They eating cake and uh, all type of meat and grease and butter and pies and ice cream. You know, because Jake loved that damn sweet potato pie. All right. But uh, Karen, but they say the holidays of the Lord is boring now. Like a woman like this is say, yeah, the truth is boring. Which they no longer hear, so know the truth now. But, but that just go to show you just how, how wicked and evil a lot of these women are, all right, and how they not, how they not taking heed to the to the Lord, and, and they end up losing their life for that. And that's gonna happen to a lot of y'all that don't want to take heed to the will of the Lord. You are gonna lose your life. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 32 and 17. A sinful man will not be reproved, but finding an excuse according to his will. All right, so yeah, a sinful man and even a sinful woman, you know? And we didn't always seen it. Like, you can't tell a nigga nothing in support of the camp. You know, he always right. You always wrong. You always flip it back on you. All right? Um, you know, like you treating them bad or... Or, um, you know, you being unfair or, or you tripping or whatever. You know, you try to re rebuke him and he just go the other way. So verse 18, a man of counsel will be considerate, but a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear. Even when of himself have done without counsel. Right. So, yeah, a, a man of a man of counsel will be considerate and same thing, a woman of counsel. Because, uh, number one, when you, when you come into the truth, you, you learn self-love. You learn who you are. Uh, you learn where, where, where you came from. And you know where you're going on top of that. So now if you don't know that, you are lost. Okay? Where you came from and where you going. All right? Like, it's the reason why our, our people are called a lost sheep. Because they lost in what? The spirit. <laughs> All right? Read again, it says, but a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear, even when of himself he have done without counsel, right? So a strange and proud man. Because, um, you know, it's important to fear your how about Shemiah or Shah. But our people, they don't fear it. A lot of our women, they don't fear your how about Shemiah or Shah. Especially our women, they don't fear your how about Shemiah or Shah. They think they can do whatever the hell they want to do. Ah, oh, you can't judge them for doing that. Yeah, the Lord took the bitch off the planet. All right? Now, if you don't like how I'm talking, just you don't have to watch my videos because the scriptures calls it uh, a shameless woman or right, getting a damn BBL. Like, girl, are you crazy? And they want their BBL for what? Attention. You know, because a lot of you Israelite women, you just love attention. Even the ones in the truth, you love attention. Verse 19, do nothing without advice, and when thou hast once done, repent not. Right. Yeah, so I said, do nothing without advice. All right, because, you know, and who are these women they getting their advice from? They getting their advice from their single friends. They getting advice from whores. They bitter, angry, single mother. Okay. 
um, who you are one of four to five children by different men. Okay. So, okay. Uh, you know, that's why it's important to, um, to have the right counsel. You know, because a lot of these women, they don't listen to their man. They're like, ah, that nigga, you don't know nothing type of spirit. I, I'm going to go to Esau, eat him, you know, and, and he going to lead me the way. You know, which is really all a slap in the face to the Israelite man, because that's what we did to Yahweh Shem Yashah. That's the reason why we got our butts over here in slavery right now. So when your woman is acting up, all right, or when you see our woman acting up, um, just know this is how we treated the Most High. So now, so not yet. Yeah, now we're beginning to understand uh, why it's important. And guess what? We know what what you Israelite women are going through, because we we did it to our head, our our husband. We know how y'all feel, because uh, we've been there at one point in time myself, not knowing who we are, insecure. All right, lost. You know, trying to find ourselves and fit in. But hey, we're not trying to fit into this society. This place will kill you. We are not comfortable here. Because scripture says this is not your rest. Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. But he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Yeah. So without faith. You know, you, you do certain things without the right counsel or you don't have faith. Oh, I'm going to do what I want to do. Or, yeah, I'm going to control my own destiny. Uh, yeah, life is what you make it. I heard a lot of Israelites say that BS. Okay. And I'll read the last part again. And he did. And uh, he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Right. So, yeah, he a rewarder of. The um, Israelites that diligently seek him. Okay. So yeah, you gotta believe that. And a lot of our people they don't believe that. Uh, like even like with this uh truth. All right, we going out there on the highways and the byways and prophesying the downfall of America. And a lot of our people don't see the benefit of that. Oh yeah, I, I gotta get this money. Uh, I you know I, I'm finna. I'm finna get a passport. I'm finna start traveling. Like, we looking for your how about Shemiah Shai. There's it's nothing wrong with having a passport. But we looking for your how about Shemiah Shai to uh, help us. Okay? Because you people out there, man, that's not looking for them, hey, y'all gonna be destroyed. Because there's nothing here to go back to. Uh, I don't even know what's the big deal about this place. This th this whole kingdom sucks. E everything is defiled. The food and water is defiled. The education system is defiled. TV is defiled. Women are defiled. Alright? So yeah, if we had to acknowledge that we went off... And we played the whore with, with many lovers on our husband. You women, you got to do the same. And a lot of you women, you can't do that. Okay, because the Lord going to have to, you know, break a lot of you down. And, and look, and, and and a lot of you women that get broken down, like, like who's to say that, who to say that you're going to survive that process? Because that's a real violent and abrasive process to get broken down by your how about Shemir and Shai. You know? And who's to say you're going to survive? You know, you might bug out. Because, um, you know, the scripture says that who the Lord loves, he uh, chastened it. Hebrews 12 and 5. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaking unto you as unto children. My son aspires not the chastening of the Lord, nor faint with our rebuke of him. For whom the Lord love, he chasten it, and scourge every son whom he receiveth. Right. And it go, uh, goes on you women as well. Have you endured chastening, how will deal with you as with sons? For what sons is he whom the father chasteneth not? 
But if you be without chastisement, where whereof are all the partakers, then you are bastards in that sense. Right? See, if you be without chastisement, if the Lord ain't chastising you, then shit, you're not one of His sons. It's that simple. All right. So um, you gotta be thankful when the Lord is using certain situations to help you grow. Jeremiah 4 and... Let me get to the point. Jeremiah 4 and 30. It says, And when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? Though thou clothest thyself with crimson, and deckest thee with ornaments of gold, though thou rendest a face with painting, in vain shalt thou make thyself fair. Thy lovers will despise thee. They will seek thy life. Right. Um, and it goes to show you what our women do. And it's the Lord talking about his people, you know, and, you know, a, and, and we, we basically see the curses playing out through our women. All right. Decking themselves, you know, with crimson and, you know, the red lipstick and the eyeliner and the blush, the fake hair, fake nails, like everything fake, you know, to make yourself look good. It all what? It all ends in it all ends in you dying, okay? So if I have heard a voice as of a woman in travail and an anguish as of her that bringeth forth her first child, the voice of the daughters of Zion that bewilders herself, that spread her hand saying, Woe is me now, for my soul is weary because of murderers. Yep. Yeah, because a lot of you women, you're gonna be in bad cases. Okay? And um, so yeah, you you gonna have to change. Like, hey, the Lord not gonna accept you as you are, you know, because the Lord is breaking everybody down. Like they say in come, uh, say in the church, uh, come as you are. Well, you can come as you are, but you can get broken down as you are. And now, if you don't accept that, then you're not gonna be saved. Okay. And you ain't got to necessarily be, like, the most attractive woman, but, hey, uh, you got to be uh, humble in your mind, because that's what true beauty lies at. True beauty lies in the mind, okay, in the spirit. So this is Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying we would eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by the name to take away our reproach, right? So, yeah, seven women, you know, seven just means the number of completion, Okay. And it can be a whole bunch of women, you know, like however that man, however many women that the Lord gives that man, okay? But yep. Yeah. yeah, you women, you got to get it together or else be destroyed. Shalom.